Now, you don't think I would show you perfectly good skid plates, do you? What is up, my friends? Welcome back to Blanco Bronco Adventures. And we had a cold snap happen. It's freezing here. It's probably foggy. <sighs> it <looks> See? Just... <laughs> it's cold. We were having some great weather in southeast Idaho. Went up to Bronco Games. It was cold up there, and I think we brought, we brought it, it back. back. We did. <sighs> it's like, you know, the sickness. You just, you, you, it travels. Anyway, as you can tell by the title of this video, we are talking about skid plates. Not just any skid plates, but Talon's Garage skid plates. We've had these skid plates on the Bronco for quite a while now. And I told Sean and Crystal, I was like, hey, we are not gonna be nice to these skid plates. We weren't. We weren't. Immediately, we went down to Lodi, California and smashed them on rocks. And found weak points. We found good points. And that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Very rarely do you ever get to give feedback to a company of like, hey, make this change, make that change. I want my skid plates to be white, you know? That didn't happen. But we gave the important things and they made a better product, in our opinion, for the new Broncos. These things are low. You can lift them, you can put bigger tires on them, but guess what? It, they still drag their belly across everything. You need every time you need portals anyway if you don't have portal money you can at least have good skid plates to protect all the key components under your bronco specifically your cadillac converters we still have we them still have them they're not they gone worked. yeah it worked as advertised now let me show you these skid plates they're not square anymore they're not straight they're not pretty but they were used they protected our bronco they took they the were, hit for the Bronco. They were abused, and they did their job, ultimately. Check this out. I, I can't feel my fingers. <sighs> okay, so here they are. This is exactly how the skid plates are laid out underneath your Bronco. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you all of it. Okay, starting with the front skid plate. First off, this is the key. If you remember, this bracket bolts onto the Bronco very first and allows these skid plates to drop down, specifically in this region here. What's here, you might ask? That's where your lower control arm is pivoting. There's points of the frame that we want to protect. And with this right here, lowering the skid plates, you are 100% protecting the frame. Perfect. Let's use the skids to skid, you know, don't let the frame skid. We don't have any issues here. This thing held up perfect. The rib nuts that are installed, super convenient. You were able to bolt it onto the Bronco, send the hardware right through, and you didn't have to fumble around with nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts, nuts and bolts. You, you got screwed. This worked awesome. As far as our front skid, we have a slightly different story. Now, again, this is research development. You're not gonna off-road like I'm gonna. I'm not gonna off-road like you're gonna. It's a fact. So we found the weak points for our off-roading style. This skid plate held up awesome, except we noticed you got no reinforcements here. So it was what happened almost immediately, and I've straightened this once, maybe twice. We came up onto an obstacle, and when this plate hit the boulder, well, this, this skid plate was like, I just want to hug this boulder. I want to take the circumference of this boulder and keep it forever. And it did. It bent and kind of buckled. That's okay. Improvements are on the way. Other than that, the only other issue we had was right in here. The tolerances are tight. Look at how it just, it, it seems right up to the engine skid plate. Well, that's awesome but we ran into the next issue. As these would kind of tweak, these would squeak. W with the tweak comes the squeak, and the squeak was quite annoying. So we took this and kind of ground it out a little bit, made the tolerances not so tight. Guess what? Squeaking went away. Ah, take a note. 
Now, for our engine skid plate, almost no issues with this guy. As you can tell, there is a brake that goes all the way across here to give you, you know, the contour to the, to the frame. There's science, and Sean did the science. I didn't have to, it was nice. We had a small issue. At these points where the brake came across, it was just a seam, just out there. So when the weight of the Bronco got on it, guess what? That seam just flattened right out, opened right up. So pulled this off. We put some welds on it, put it back on. Guess what? Solved the problem of those seams opening right up. Took a note. Now, moving back to our transmission skid plate. This one, out of all of them specifically, took a beating. And in my opinion, held up almost flawlessly. With these ridges, reinforcements on here, it's so cold. Anyway, with this on here, as you would slide, using the skid, it didn't buckle, it didn't twist, it didn't do anything other than deflect the rocks out of our way. The only issues we had, as you can tell, well, this is like an off-road course. Like if your Bronco was like this big, this would be a pretty sweet obstacle in here. But guess what? Right where the transmission cross member is, even though these bent up, it protected that cross member that otherwise wouldn't have been protected. So this little bend, I don't think is a big deal, but we still took a note. Then moving back to the transfer case skid plate, the bracket that gives you so much more strength held up awesome. This goes in the whole skid system and attaches to the gas tank factory bolt. This allows the transfer case skid plate to just be so much stronger. Instead of being mounted to the frame and to a cross member and having this all doing the crazies, this just, it added the, the structure. I mean, it's like triangles. Again, with the science, it worked. As far as the actual skid plate here, no issues. Other than again, we had one of the brakes that was just an open seam. So, threw some weld in it, put it back together, and it worked awesome. Now, we love the Talon's Garage logo. It is fantastic. You know, it's Eagle coming down for the landing, you know, America. It's awesome. But we did realize, hey, a little bit of structural, you know, as cool as it is, we, got to, we need the strength. So, took a note. Now, the other thing with the skid plate system, because this initial bracket drops it, all these other points where it mounts to the Bronco, you had, you had to use spacers, you know, to, to, to keep it lower, to protect things. So as that worked, we also found another problem. These bolts, as they would go through the skid plate, well, guess what would happen? You know, they're hanging down. Rocks would slide over, nail the bolt. Well, it's an Allen head. Well, it, 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 it's, it's, it's mushed. It, it, you couldn't fit the tool in it, is what I'm trying to spit out. So we took a note. In fact, when we took these off the Bronco, we had to cut the heads off of a few bolts. So how are we gonna fix these problems? Well, Talon's Garage already has. Let me pull up the new set of skid plates. I'm excited because they're gonna be so much cleaner. So much cleaner. I mean, do we even wash our Bronco? We do, because we've done it a lot. The Bronco games were so muddy. You should have seen this. It just, you did see it actually on the one video. It was probably a hundred pounds or better of mud. It, it was impressive. There's some sand hollow. Speaking of sand hollow, it's united by Bronco Eve. We gotta be there tomorrow. And by tomorrow, I mean in like four hours. Why does it seem like every time we do skid plates, we're going out wheeling the next day and we're doing this at like, all the hours of the night. Ah, you have kids that just, you just, you gotta, I, get, I gotta hurry, I gotta put these on and we're going off road. And here it is. Look at the display of these skid plates. I am so excited. So excited! To yet again, go bash on these skid plates for you guys, for science, for geometry, I don't know. Fact of the matter is, let me show you how much this has improved. 
This is still practically the same. We still have the same type of drop bracket to again protect your lower control arms where they're mounted to your frame. So this bolts right onto the cross member up front and then it sets the precedence for all these skids to be a little lower. So let me move this, let me show you the goods. Check it out. Starting with the front skid, there is so much more structure in this as per the previous design. So check this out. Look at this hole. What's going on there? First off, we are now able to recess the bolts down lower. So that way you can slide right over obstacles and your bolt heads should be protected. They're safe, you know, safe, like in the games. You can take these on and off a lot easier. You won't have to potentially cut the bolt heads off because they're hanging in harm's way. Now, you can still get this skid plate set in steel, which is what we have here, or aluminum. All of these changes are options. You don't have to pop for this setup. The previous one works. It's proven. If you're doing light off-road, you're going to be fine. But if you want a little more rigidity in your skid plates, this is only like a $40 add-on. It's worth it. Check the box at checkout. All the links to this is going to be in the description below. But first off, with having the recessed bolts, Pounds Garage designed a layered stack system to recess those bolts, but more importantly, in my opinion, do away with the spacers. Those spacers that allow the bolts to, you know, keep the distance from the bottom of the chassis, well, they're no more because now off of the skid plate, it's built up to where you just, it's all a bolt-on system. It was bolt-on before, but now it bolts on even easier. Also, by adding this, this front plate is not gonna wanna hug the rocks. I highly doubt this is gonna bend now. You've got the strength going across the whole skid plate along with ribbing. Ribbed for the pleasure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's gonna be stronger. That's just the front skid. Moving to the transmission skid, same deal. You've got strength added in by recessing the bolts. You've also got added in ribbing for the pleasure of strength. Then also, remember where we had those metal brakes that just came together and did nothing? Well, they weren't necessary. So, trimmed these away, why, why? Well, the squeaky, you know, the clearance. It gives you more clearance around where these bolt together. Look at that, I mean, you're, you're still protected, but now there's no chance of those skid plates coming in contact with each other and you know, creating noise. So the motor skid plate is gonna be far stronger. Now the transmission skid plate already was really strong, but we had the bent wings out here that came up. You know, geometry, science. It, it came in to play. Then instead of just having straight bars, do this and it's gonna give this skid more strength. And again, with recessing the bolts, all this is stronger and all this is stronger. Now totally redesigned the bracket that is giving the corner of the transfer case skid plate even more strength. Now, literally, nut certs installed. This slides on once the skid plate goes up and then the, trans the transfer case skid literally just bolts right on, again with recessed bolts. I am so excited to put this skid system on the Bronco and go and try it out. Now, I mentioned we got to get to Sand Hollow. United by Bronco. If you guys haven't ever been to United by Bronco, you need to make the time to come to this Bronco event and do skid plates the night before. So here's what I'm going to do. If you want to see how to install these, watch a previous video. It's the exact same. These are just the, the, the new version, the, the 2.0. And guess what? Your Cadillac converters are still protected. It's awesome. I, 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 that's a win. I'm going to throw these on here. I'm going to meet you down in Sand Hollow in about a second, and I'm going to show you these skid plates installed, and we're going to go over all the mounting points and just show you how good this is. Ah, we got to get on the road. And here we are, my friends. Sand Hollow. Sand Hollow. We are going to check out these skid plates on the Bronco. Now, you don't think I would show you perfectly good skid plates, do you? Brand new, out of the box, slightly used. 
if I was going to do that, I would have just continued to hang out with you in the shop. Like, they were perfect in the shop. Were. Yeah, as you've seen. So, we're going to take our first real look at this. We've been on now probably a solid five, six, maybe seven trails because we're coming off a of United by Bronco, which we did all sorts of trails there. Then also the off-road games and all sorts of trails there, like triple sevens, like seven times. <laughs> it was, I feel a lot more comfortable on that trail we're now. very familiar with it. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, we use the skid plates. I haven't honestly looked at them other than the front skid at this point. There is a little bit of deflection that happened, but not near what happened with our first set. So the improvements from Talent's Garage, I've already seen a huge difference in. Also, the skid plates don't creak or pop or do anything other than yeah. skid off of rocks when you need them. And if you're watching this to put these on your Bronco, well, you know your Bronco sits low and you usually hit things Something. with the belly. Yeah. So. Let's jump under this thing and let's take a look and see if we can see any major issues other than what they're designed for to deflect, you know, and skid, to skid. and to, you know, to slide over, you know. Let's check I, them out. Let's look at it is what I'm saying. I'm saying we're looking at it right now. So as you can see, with all the beautiful scenery here in Sand Hollow, that's the shoot right there. That's iconic. We had to come to the shoot to be able to find a rock to put the Bronco up on to where we didn't have to work so hard to get under this thing and roll around in the sand. So right now, first look, I haven't been under there. You guys are coming with us. Let's start with the front skid. What's your s synopsis? I'm impressed. Impressed. The other one like went out, tried to give the rocks a hug. Yeah, you know? immediately. This one Almost. didn't. This one didn't. We've got a little bit of scratchage on the powder coat in the corners. I mean, it's a little scratched. Don't mind. We'll brush it off. It. Is that just sand? No. That's, well, that's, that's definitely a little damage. bit of scratch. Uh, the Allen head, intact. 100%. Intact. We could get this off. No problems. Rock. A little more scratches. That's fine. It's a skid plate. Why would I show you perfect skid plates? Now, in the middle, by the logo, you can definitely see that Something it heavy. did cave a little bit there. If we put a straight edge on it, which I don't have right now in my convenience, I bet you we would see Maybe just right a little there. bowage there, but not bad. If you sight down the bumper line, everything is just straight as can be right in there. I, the, I mean, I'm impressed right there. Now, looking further back to the engine skid, Oh, well, there's a lot of sand. Bolts. We can still access them. Yeah, which is <laughs> nice. Magic. Looking back at that, I mean, it's perfectly level at that seam right there. Look at that. Has not changed a bit. And the bolts are still, other than being packed with sand, it's fixable. you can get it out. Yeah. It's not smushed. Okay, let's jump under the Bronco and check out the transmission skid. I know I've used that one a lot. <laughs> a lot. Okay. Don't lay under a Bronco. Get on in there. It's safe. Oh yeah, it's always safe. Look how much sand resides in the tires. When this sand is even slightly damp. We should buy some rocks so we can do this at home. <laughs> I just put my glasses away. Are you gonna drive away? <laughs> well, she's under there. Today's the day. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna zoom out here. Look at that. That looks so much better than the previous set. So, we definitely do have a little bit of arch right in here. But the other skid plates came out so much further that this was way more vulnerable to being bent so much so that i mean it came all the way up into that i also want to point out that right here where these come off we're still a hundred percent protecting the frame where that lower control arm goes in again we got some scratching to be expected Just when you have skid plates um 
these are like, in my opinion, still brand new. Now, transfer case. Other than being used, there is no... Not a... I'm really impressed with yeah. this. We're not going to talk about the gas tank skid plate. Don't look at it. Because I made that. And it's not correct. We can only hold three quarters of a tank worth of fuel because I didn't do it right. But Talon's Garage is working on a solution for a much better gas tank skid plate. When that happens, you will absolutely know because we will inform you. So right now we're not talking about that one because it's really good because it weighs like 200 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, I used all the weld juice, as you can see. It's not coming off. Anyway, the transfer case skid plate is perfect the previous one would always bend right in here because it just had that force and leverage behind it but nothing is loose it is all tight i would consider this a massive win from 1.0 to now 2.0 i don't know what they're calling them for sure but i'm going to call it 2.0 i want to know if they're gonna last and the first time we used the other ones they looked really good but the next trail worse next trial worse i will continue to update you guys on how these perform but so far win for talon's garage on the 2.0 set now we just need to figure out the gas tank sean crystal you got to get on that how do you feel about the new skid plates i'm impressed me too i think they're gonna last a lot longer yeah. so again this is an option that you can click when you're ordering your skid plates if you want a little bit more of just like a not so hardcore skid plate well 1.0 option is awesome they they did the job i was not if we were like back road off-roaders yeah like mud and yeah, ruts you know they'd deflect all that no problem but when you're on the rocks they definitely take a harder hit if you're gonna off-road like we do i'm gonna put the bronco to its limits and try to test it on every aspect but be smart about it as i'm doing it with these set of skid plates i have a lot higher hopes for how i'm going to off-road so if you're interested in getting yourself a set of skid plates, we get the honor to work with this company, but I wanna hook you guys up as well. We were able to get you a 5% discount. Put it right here. Right here. Blanco 5. Blanco 5. That's B-L-A-N-C-O 5. You can say Blanco if you want. Blanco if Blanco. you don't know how to say Blanco. <laughs> Do what you want. <laughs> but if you're looking at these skid plates, I wanted to save you guys a little bit of money and Sean and Crystal did as well. If there's any more updates or things that happen or occur, you will be the first to know because we talk about the products we use because we actually use, use them. them. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to put things on this Bronco that I don't want to or that I don't believe in. And I'm not gonna tell you guys about it if I don't believe in it, cause I'm gonna use it. If it's junk, it's junk. And I wouldn't say the first set of skid plates was junk by any means, but I got a hold of Sean and I was like, we got some fixing to do and he got right to work. And in my opinion, that's the big takeaway here is the companies that actually Care? want to, yeah, keep you on the trail and safe, they listen people like us and send us pictures when you have yes. your skid plates Tag installed us. i want to see your bronco in gnarly situations while you're having fun get off your couch it's time to create an adventure we're here at the shoot so i'm gonna go up the shoot all Let's right go <laughs> Quick roof inspection. It's good. Thanks for watching.